As I was saying earlier, tomorrow is the all-important primary here in New York, one of America's top 50 states. So, <laughs> to get some insight into this election, I recently invited Secretary Clinton to lunch at the world-famous Carnegie Deli. Secretary Clinton, thank you so much for talking to me today. It's great to be here with you. And thank you for meeting me in the Carnegie Deli. Right. Um, where they serve, you know, sandwiches as big as a baby's head. Uh, yes, and uh, I actually was hungry, so I thought I would drop by and okay, uh, spend my time with you. Oh, I want to make sure, I know that uh, former President Clinton, your husband, is a vegan. Yes. Is he going to give you any grief on this? Any friction for you eating meat? No. He's, he's not a smug vegan? He's really not. Okay, no. I think legally that think makes he... him not a vegan. He never I says, know. like, you know, that sandwich had a face. That sandwich is somebody's little baby. Nothing like that? He doesn't say that. He, he's a very open-minded vegan. Okay. What is the worst thing that you've had to eat <laughs> at a public event? Uh, you don't have to say what state it was at, because we'll know it's Iowa. Right. <laughs> no. Because they'll fry anything and put it on a stick down there. But can I just tell you this? You it, tell is, it is true. When you're walking around the fair, you don't want to stop, sit down, and eat. Mm -hmm. If you get it on a stick, mm -hmm. you can actually continue to walk and... You get to get enjoy your... the fair without being deprived of your meat. That's 100% right. All right. Indeed. Politics seems to be about finding common ground. Right. Okay. Right. What do you have in common with your likely opponent, Donald Trump? Other than the fact they have beautiful daughters and you both were at his wedding. Well, I'm not sure yet. I'm just not sure what I have in common with him. However, when you are president and you're mm -hmm. working with the Congress, there are lots of opportunities to find common ground. Why do you want to go back to mm -hmm. Washington, D.C.? Whenever I'm down uh, there, I want to get out of there as fast as I can. Well, that's where our seat of government is. The Republicans down there are waiting with like a meat slicer. If you win, they're just want to, like the deli that sliced this meat, they're ready to run you through that. Why would you want to go through that again? Well, because when I actually have a job as opposed to run mm -hmm. for a job, I yeah. actually get things done with the Republicans. I, I did as First Lady, as Senator, as Secretary of State. You think they would work with you? Of course they will. Absolutely. You have five dollars or whatever you're on right now? You can, you can have even 10 or 15. Really? This is just one of those efforts you have to get up and work on every single day. Mm -hmm. You have to be willing to find whatever mm -hmm. common ground exists and then try to make something good happen. You're a grandmother and you've got another grandchild on the way, I understand. That's absolutely true. Congratulations. It is so exciting. Are you cool, Grandma? Are you going to let them eat whatever they want? I'm going to be a little subversive. How about your husband? Is he going to be a cool grandpa? He is so head over heels in love with our granddaughter. But is he going to give them the snacks, or is he going to go, great news, we've got kale chips? <laughs> <laughs> I think he's even more subversive than I am. Really? Oh, yeah. Ice cream? Does he do any of that stuff? Does well, he, he do doesn't, that? but I don't think he would deprive yeah. his grandchild of that By experience. the way, how's my, how's my impression, by the way? It's really good, actually. Very good? Is it spooky? Yeah, it is. Close your eyes. You don't know. Maybe he's here? <laughs> Okay, last week here in New York, you went to Junior's right. and you didn't have any cheesecake. Why not? You said you wanted it, but you didn't want to eat in front of the press. What, right. What's the deal? Well, it, it's awkward eating in front mm -hmm. of the press. They wanted you to eat in front of you, didn't they? Of course. They could get, well, because they could get a funny shot. Okay. You know, something could drop out of your mouth, it could smear your face. Right. I mean, anything that makes you look silly is. There's, is a, way to, there's a way to eat. Cheesecake without looking silly. Okay, okay, I want to. Will you show me? Okay, I will. I'll okay. try. Okay, first of all, okay. you want to use a fork. Yes, that's okay. always good to use a fork. You got a fork. Yep. Then you want to take off just a little bit off the top right here. Okay. And then just eat as much as you want. <laughs> ooh, ooh. What could it... <laughs> This is humanizing. <laughs> Let's humanize you in front of the And I clearly have to do that. People love this. I know, I know. I, you have given me, oh. you've given me a great way to think about how to do this mm -hmm. now. Then you offer this to the press. <laughs> Would you like some of this? Yeah. Does anybody have any insulin? <laughs> well, this has been lovely. Thank you so much. It's been a pleasure. Okay. I've enjoyed it a lot. Let's see what we got here. Uh, you okay if we split this? Sure. Okay. I'm fine with that. Say that. I'll be right back, okay? Okay. Okay. Great. Okay. <laughs>